How's it going guys? My name is Alex and welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. So this looks a little brighter than all the other games, which this is kind of like, um, it's kind of like every custom night that I've ever played, but this is going to be like, it's like the custom nights have their own story, I'm guessing. So let's kind of jump right into this and, uh, and see. Okay, we're going to do new game. I never really started a game just yet. I'm going to go ahead and start one. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. Okay. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and oh, take yeah. a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% <laughs> You saved all this money. Now you have to cases. use it. <laughs> what are we talking about? We're talking oh, about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right. Restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone Wait. can do with a limited degree of success. Wait, I'm a manager sure, now? it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. <laughs> Nothing with your to initial lose. investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now let's take a look at a okay, few things. Okay, some of you guys have given me advice as a not to do entertainment it. franchisee, such as I'll explain atmosphere. In a Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying is, you might on die. sale comes with a certain what? amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, legally obligated? you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Hooray! Wear that smile with pride, and let's make some money. Yeah, and well, let's die. Fazbear is responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. What? Okay, no, 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 I've heard that. I've heard that. Okay, so how to A, a uh, two-step guide to restaurant management. Use catalog mode to purchase items and animatronics and other supplies. Uh, use blueprint mode to place them, upgrade items, and upgrade your floor plan. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, so day one. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great. That right, should I got be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock okay. more expensive catalogs you guys by told me I was purchasing to look items for, for your pizzeria. Use the oh, arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between catalog mode and blueprint mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Liability Give it a risk. try and do some shopping. Okay, so you guys have mentioned to me about um, that there could possibly be, if I take either one of these, like if it goes to either entertainment or if it goes to like a liability risk, that'd be adding animatronics to my, uh, to my night shift. Which I think the best goal here is to like not, is to not do that. So, um, you said you guys uh, that you guys would take this because this would actually save your life and it becomes your best friend throughout the nights. Let's see, health and safety levels. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna 
I'm gonna leave that alone. Leave that alone. Leave that alone. Definitely leaving that alone. <laughs> leaving that alone. Leaving that alone. Um, just in case, leaving that alone. Okay. All right, so I'm good. Okay. Okay, good. It's already there. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys, but uh, my pizzeria is going to be closed for a while, probably forever, because I'm trying to save your all's life. Okay, here we go. What's going on here? Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Okay. Now, on to other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Okay. Cool. I have no idea of how to do this. <clears throat> but I mean, how hard could it be, huh? I mean, do I at least have like one animatronic or? Okay, yeah, I definitely have. Uh, I have. Okay. This is so new. Do I got anything behind me? No, I don't. Okay. Heating there. Okay. So far, so good, I guess, right? Come on, prowl, Ray. Print. I don't even know why I'm freaking out. This should be easy. Okay. What am I supposed to do if I'm done? Okay. So what kind of office is this that has like two big air vents? 
If you look down here, it's possibly covered in blood. Okay. Almost done. Almost done. Hopefully whatever's in these vents. Wait a minute. Log off. Great job. All right. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just no, focus on <laughs> getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Okay. Cool. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day routine, and that uh... is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, okay. what we do know well, as the manager, is that they can throw be used them out. Parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before no, starting your next they're, day. They're... I gotta course, throw them out. As with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside. Yep. But then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to I... keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. What? If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you so if I just throw it out, it would try, it would come back in and try and kill me? Provided to you. you can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Uh, okay. Throw it back in the alley or proceed with salvage. If I choose this, I will die. Or if I choose this, I will still die. Ah. <sighs> Salvage. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. <laughs> Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. You guys can see he just moved. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Yeah, I heard from Facebook that you're not really supposed to like, uh, like actually select these results more to just avoid him from jump scaring you i just love how tactical Document these results. games are oh control and yeah, you ain't doing that crap begin audio prompt in three two one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. This is creepy, I swear to God, this is creepy. Okay, we're good now. 
Did I document this? Document results. Oh, you I have think completed it just moved. the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. Oh. Thanks for letting me join the party. I'll try not to disappoint. Huh? New visitors 23. Total visitors 23. Food revenue $192. Salvage revenue five hundred. Total revenue six hundred and ninety-two dollars. Yay! I get six hundred and ninety-two dollars. Okay, cool. All right. Um. Let's see. Um. Okay. So you guys told me to definitely avoid the ball pit. I'm definitely gonna be doing that. Um. Purchasing a bulky item in this condition comes with a slight risk of something undesirable hiding inside. Oh, yep, definitely not getting that. Good. Oh, what? Terrible. Percy purchasing a bulky item in this case is. Oh, come on. It was so good. It's like you can't trust anything anymore. Yeah, I'm definitely avoiding that. Let's see, maybe if I just get a stage and that's it. Uh, then again, you guys told me to avoid anything besides the janitor's tech. Or, not really tech, but <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Um, okay, blooper mode. Okay, I'm gonna try one more, I'm gonna try one more night. I'm gonna see if I can like try to speed things up so I can get to the security breach ruin. Because you guys have been asking me of like when I'm going to be going into that game. So, I did tell you guys that uh, it will be a process. Okay. Oh, yep. Okay, there was actually something there. Stay right there. Don't even move a muscle near me. Okay, so why is the fan thing so important? Oh, hurry the hell up. Every time I hear that, that freaks me out. Ha! Found you. Oh. Okay. This is definitely not good. Okay. You're good. I don't have to pray anymore. Get the hell off. Scan. Come on. Come on. Ooh, okay. I don't know if that was supposed to be like anybody in the vents or no. Now I see that there was somebody in the vents with me the whole time in the first night. I'm guessing they were just hiding. Oh shit, no. 
No, no, no. Oh, no. Ah! Ah!